this is the JR Wisdom channel. Once again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Tonight, I have a special request from one of my subscribers as a reference to her situation. She reached out to me, and it's quite a, quite a doozy uh, in reference to the situation, as you can probably see in the title. And it's about my husband secretly married another woman while we were still married. So I had to go out, I went back and forth with her just trying to get more details on the background and the situation before I could really answer her questions. But this is one unlike I haven't heard before, but I'm hearing a lot more men or stories of men trying to be involved in these polygamous relationships and have uh, multiple wives, so on and so forth. So let's, let's get right into it. I'm going to start on her email here. Um, my husband of over a decade secretly married another woman who I think he has known for less than a year in a spiritual type of ceremony as a way to commit to her and show his love for her. He came clean about this after it was all said and done. Growing up, I saw my parents separate and though my father stayed in my life, I'm very close to him and very much a daddy's girl. I was determined that one day when, ho one day when hopefully I would be in my own marriage, things would be different. The person I fell in love with was amazing. And in retrospect, I think the biggest sign of all was just getting into a relationship without knowing myself. I was 22 years old when I fell in love. I can't say anything negative about that man. It's just that he wants to live a certain lifestyle that I don't agree with. And that's okay because I'm willing to move on. To answer your question, he came clean about it rather quickly. And it wasn't that long ago. I believe in a matter of about a week or so after doing what he did is when he came clean. Again, I don't believe his intention was ever to hide it. Rather, it is of my opinion that his hope was for all parties involved to agree to it and to live in peace. To answer your other question, no, I do not live with him. He and his new girl share a home. They may have bought it together, but I am not entirely sure. Your videos speak on controlling your emotions and the concept of detachment have really helped me thus far. I think in situations like this, it's easy to let anger and sadness get the best of you. But thanks to your videos, I now know that the best course of action to take in a situation like this is to practice patience by controlling your emotions, understanding you cannot control the actions of others, keeping things respectful, cordial, while also remaining mature. Focusing on growth, doing no contact, and truly just letting go. I have allowed myself to feel the pain, heartache, and I'm ready to move on. But I was wondering, JR, if I could please get your perspective on one thing that has been on my mind as of late. If a husband says to his wife, I don't want a divorce, let's try to make it work, but is still with his new woman, does that mean he has not moved on yet? My mind is absolutely made up on the fact I will not take a cheater back, but I was wondering if you could please explain this from the male point of view. I think his hope was that both of both of his women, lol, I still can't believe I'm saying that, would eventually be okay with it. Clearly, this is not the case, and so I was wondering, in your opinion, can a man still be in love with a woman while in a new relationship? Are men able to compartmentalize that well and can he truly give his heart to someone else so soon is it possible for him to heal from a previous relationship while being with someone new or is it always best to heal separately since he has stated he still wants to make it work would his new relationship be considered a rebound or would you consider it to be an actual relationship since he did commit to her I know these are several questions, but I would love for you to touch a little on each of these points as these are the only things I'm desiring clarity on. I would like to think of myself as self-aware individual, as a self-aware individual who is able to see both the good in themselves as well as, as well as their flaws. I have looked within and have been brutally honest with myself over these last couple of weeks. I can say though I'm not perfect, I am a good lover. I know I give all I give my all in relationships and I am someone who genuinely cares for someone when I do, I think ultimately I will be able to completely move on just by having made peace with the fact I truly did give my best and some things are just not meant to be. I personally believe when a man makes a choice to step out of his marriage, he does it with the intent of willing to lose you. I would never want to risk losing the, the, one, lo the one I love because I love them so much. And so when someone is willing to risk me, that tells me how much I matter to them 
and the value I hold in your life. Because of this, I cannot take back a man who has cheated even if he gets rid of the other woman. I would never even ask a man to do this, by the way, as it does not concern me, seeing as I would not even get back with him, nor am I that cruel. Also, the other woman does not owe me anything. My issue is purely with the man seeing as he was the one married to me in that situation. As far as I'm concerned, she is irrelevant in the conversation and I harbor no ill will towards her. Relationships are about trust and being able to be vulnerable in front of someone. I don't think I could fully trust a cheater or even be intimate enough with them to, to the point I could be the same woman I was with them. I guess she meant to say previously. So, very interesting email and situation. Obviously, there's more to this. And for the sake of time, and I know the email was rather lengthy, I compiled two or three of her emails right here that I read. I'll just get right into it on my thoughts on this. Um, this situation is obviously something where you find a couple, I don't know his age, but you find a couple that were together 10 years. And I asked her, were there any signs that led up to this? And she said that none that she could see. So for a man out the blue to just, you know, spiritually or technically, you know, do a, uh, a spiritual marriage with her or go through the ceremony of getting married without documentation, he has to be pretty serious. And to the point, obviously, you guys are separated and he's actually living with this woman and you guys are still legally married based off what I gather from these emails. So he wants to be in a position and I don't know, obviously, he must have spoken with her to have to keep wanting you to come back in the picture or wanting all three of you to be together as one couple not a couple <laughs> a couple is two excuse me as a uh as a family this this uh this polygamous relationship you know sister wives whatever you want to call it so he i guess she's 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 down for it because i don't think he's you know he's trying to get you back without her being cool with it so i think that this may have happened over time this may have been something he's always wanted to do but obviously for him to not have told you from the jump and for him to just do this and as you said you kind of you kind of broke it down for him to just bring it up to you he came clean really quick i married another woman are you cool with it you know if not you know i'm still me and her go, are going to be together but i still want you to be with us and that was one of my questions to her was that you know being that she's asking these questions would she still consider being with him in that capacity or does the woman have to go and she obviously answered that which a lot of people have once that trust is broken even if it is being with this whole new entity that's involved in both of you know your monogamous relationship you were married to this man and he decided to step out at this point and be with another woman you can't look past that even if he was to kick this this new wife to the curb because these thoughts are still playing in your mind about him being with this woman and him breaching a trust, especially it seems that this was your first, her first love in this situation. So she really didn't know herself, just like a lot of people who get married early. They don't know themselves. And when you come to this point, which obviously she's in her early 30s, where all this stuff is hitting you, especially, you know, my situation was similar to yours. It just, it just hits you out of the blue. And your whole identity just disintegrates. Your whole identity is going, not only that, this man you knew who was you were in love with is basically in love with another woman and has an attachment to another woman at this point, even though he says that he's in love with you. So we'll go in and answer her questions. I'm going to read back the questions that she was asking. If a husband says to his wife, I don't want a divorce, let's try to make it work but it's still with his new woman. Does that mean he has not moved on yet? There's two parts to that question. So he was willing to sacrifice or willing to lose you, especially if he didn't discuss this beforehand. He was willing to lose you. So yes, he moved on and he moved on way before uh, this even happened for him to actually be dealing with this woman. And I don't know how long he was dating her or courting her. But he had already moved on a long time ago in this marriage. That's why I asked you were there any signs. The other part about that is it doesn't mean that he doesn't 
love you or have feelings for you. He just he's just not in love with you anymore. That's why he risked it and he even moved out with another woman at this point. But he still wants you to be a part of this because this is something that he desires is to have this sister wife type uh relationship going on. So I would say for him to do that, yeah, and you kind of said it in your email. He has moved on. Can a man still be in love with a woman while in a while in a new relationship? I, I think I just answered that as well. I think that I don't think he's in love with you. I think he may still love you. You were his wife for 10 years. He just basically fell out of love with you to be in a relationship with this woman. That's just how that is. And like I said, I don't know the signs. I don't know what happened before, but based off what you're telling me, this, he can't be in love with you to, to go and marry a completely different woman. Are men able to compartmentalize that well? And can he truly give his heart to someone else so soon? Like I said, we don't know how long he's been dealing with this woman and the detachment that he the, the attachment that he had for you or the love him being in love with you probably happened years ago. And he probably just finally found a woman who either knocked his socks off, blew his socks off or that was down. And basically this concept he has to have this polygamous relationship or marriage, she's all for it as well. So like I said, it's not about compartmentalizing, you know, it was just that he was, he was done with you, but I guess it would be a plus just to be, or it's, they find it sexy or something just to have multiple women. Is it possible for him to heal from a previous relationship while being with someone new, or is it always best to heal separately? So like I said, once you, once you have that detachment the healing, the initial healing is already done. Not to say, and we we got we get into soul ties, which I talked about that previously. It may hit him later on, but for him to go this far, whatever healing and whatever detachment process he went through was done a long time ago. So, as far as you know, healing from a previous relationship, the initial part he's already done done that. You guys are still married, so it's not to say that, you know, obviously he still wants to be with you, but he wants to be with this woman as well. But you won't take him back either way it goes. So it, that's neither here nor there. But he's already done in terms of this. And your last question was, since he has stated he still wants to make it work, would his new relationship be considered a rebound? Or would you consider it to be an actual relationship since he did commit to her? Well, like I said, I think it's a, it's a he he detached completely. Who knows if he if this is the first woman? I, I find it hard to believe that this is the first woman he's dealt with within the ten years that you guys were together. So he might have been sleeping around. You just didn't know about it, just like you didn't know about this woman. So in terms of him wanting to make it work, he wants you to be part of the crew. He wants you to be on the team. In terms of that. As far as it being considered a rebound, who knows? Like I said, if he's been with multiple women, I don't think it would be considered a rebound. Especially if he went this far. Unless he's just found this woman that blew his socks off and this is like the first woman I've come across and I just need to get married. You know, unless this is some religious thing he's got going on outside of this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to consider an actual relationship if he really married this woman. If what you said is true and he married her not legally because that would be bigamy um it's an actual relationship he's you say they might have bought a house together um they for sure moving in together so i consider that a relationship at this point even though he's still legally married to you so i think at this point you know he's already detached and i'll say i keep saying that he's already detached you're just now you're just now feeling it. I believe, and this is something my ex-wife told me initially when it first hit me. She said, I left you a long time ago. You're just now feeling it. You're just now realizing it. This, this was her words. She said, the way you feel now is how I felt years ago. That's what she told me. She said, I was done with you a long time ago. So, 
she had completely detached. Just like this guy, for him to go to this far and marry another woman, you know, even if it is spiritual and not legal, you know, basically that's a that's a sign that I'm of dedication, that I'm committed to you. That's a committed sign. Even though, you know, they didn't go through the whole, you know, getting a license or whatever or certificate from the courthouse, that is some serious stuff. So I think you have the right, you're in the right state of mind and I'm glad my videos could help you out. You controlling your emotions, but the only way to get over any of this stuff, and this goes for anybody, is you have to feel it to heal it. There's no shortcut. People Google stuff on YouTube and look up how to do this, how to do it, man. You got to feel it. You got to go through it. You got to walk through hell. Is that what they call it? You got to go through all that mess, all that foolishness. And that, and when you come out on the other end, it's so fresh and it's so liberating. So I'm glad that you you are you are already starting that process for you healing personally. And it sounds like your concern should not be him at this point, other than you getting your divorce. Don't worry about what he's got going on. The least the least you worry about what he's got going on and concern your, concerning yourself with him. You've already made it up in your mind, unless you're entertaining taking him back or going to him, you already made up in your mind that you're not going back. And just for example, if you do get back with this, and I had to I had to go through this in my mind, if you do go get back with this gentleman, you're when you lay in bed with him, when you're intimate with him, these thoughts are, are gonna be going through your mind. They're gonna be playing over and over and over and over and over. That's just something that you would have to deal with as well. As well as whatever issues, if he's still potentially dealing with this woman. So, once again, I think that uh, you're doing the right thing. You're taking the, the proper steps. It's not the end of the world. You're still in your early 30s as a woman. You know, I know the older, and it's, I'm just being honest. As a woman, the older you get, it's, it's kind of more difficult. But you're still in your early 30s. You're still young. I don't know if you have children or not. I mean, but even if you do, like I said, you're still young. Uh, nobody deserves that unless you're with it, unless you're cool with it. Nobody deserves to be, you know, kicked to the side or surprised in terms of something like this. So I'm pretty sure everything will turn out fine at the end of the day. It'll all work out in the long run. I wouldn't put too much energy into it. What's done is done. Uh, huge commitment has been made on that end. So I wouldn't even sweat it. Just, just go through your process if you haven't. And, uh, Know that there's better days to come. Trust me. That's coming from me. Trust me. There are better days to come. So with that being said, you know, I hope you guys, you know, have learned something from this. Or if you guys got any comments or any advice, please feel free to leave it in the uh, the comments section. You know, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the situation as well. Give it a thumbs up if you would appreciate it. If you appreciate it. If you like the video, please feel, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Gently hit that subscribe button. I invite you to subscribe to my channel that way you can check out all my other content as well as my upcoming content on this if you have any advice uh, or if you're seeking any advice feel free to contact me any topics you'd like me to discuss all of those things links are in the description hit me up uh if you want to see more content like this there should be some videos popping up i uh i would like for you to check them out as well may, may find something that you like I also um, just launched two two new channels. The links will be in the description as well. You know, I have one called The Hustler's Apprentice, which is about business, credit, real estate, you know, life hacks, things to do with improving yourself. And I also launched Wisdom Fitness, which is basically about fitness and nutrition and, you know, losing weight and getting in the best shape that you can be in. So with that being said, check out the videos here. Peace be upon you and the mercy and blessings of the Almighty. Remember, anything lost can be found again except for time wasted. And I will catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.